Hello, everyone. Welcome to Xinhua Live. This is Sun Qing with China's Xinhua News Agency. I'm now here at the May venue of 2022 World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai. And we can see that this, this year's uh, wake officially kicked off on Wednesday with more than 200 companies participating and some of them debut new tech innovation and product here during the conference. And the main venue of the conference is the Shanghai World Expo Exhibition Convention Center here, and also with another two sub-venues in Pudong and Xuhui District, and five sub-venues in North America, Europe, Singapore, South Korea, and China's Hong Kong. A large number of applications featuring artificial intelligence are on display, such as big data-based AI chess, intelligence manufacturing, smart car cabin. So today I'm going to take you to a tour around the exhibition hall to see how AI technology is to uh, go into sharp different industries in the future. And what you can see here is the area of metaverse. And I heard that the exhibitor has bring a very interesting disco platform here. Let's check out. Hello. Hello. Very nice to see you. Hi. Hello. Nice to see you. You can maybe uh, briefly introduce yourself to our audience. And we'd like to check out the disco platform here. OK. Hello, everyone. I'm Dennis. Uh, I'm a solution engineer of Natis Fushi. Uh, I'm very glad to introduce something about our Natis Yalta. Uh, let's see it. Uh, this is our uh, Natis uh, Yalta virtual conference platform. And uh, we uh, combined uh, Natis Cloud Music, launched a brand new column called uh, Please Be in Place for Disco Players. Our team built a virtual Flow and the DJ stage in Natis Yalta. As you can see, there are many users dancing in the, floor, in the middle of the floor, and the users can join into the disco dancing by operating their own uh, virtual avatars. Let me show you. Okay, so Dennis, if I want to log in uh, this party, so how can I do? So I can log in by uh, using my mobile telephone? Yes, sure. Uh, uh, and uh, you can press I can w scan, uh, scan it, yeah. and then I can log in and join the party in Metaverse, right? Right. And uh, you can just press WS, uh, WSD to work. Right, right click and drag to change the view. After you find a good position and the view you like, uh, press number one key to start your dancing. And uh, you can switch to different uh, uh, dance movement, movement by switching uh, two different uh, uh, key number. Okay, so how many players now on this stage? Uh, there are more than uh, 100 uh, dance players in this virtual stage. That's very interesting. So how could AI apply it in this technology? Uh, for traditional virtual avatar working process, we need to do modeling and bending job. Uh, to create a new avatar. It will take five to 10 days or maybe more. But with the help of AI, users will get a virtual avatar within seconds. Users can upload an image and the AI, AI, and the AI algorithm will calculate the, fe the features of appearance and generate a virtual avatar. It's quite easy to have a virtual avatar in that ECL time, make it efficient. So could you please show us more application scenarios about this metaverse uh, technology? OK, sure. In, in June, Shanghai Wunan Kindergarten had a wonderful graduation ceremony in TCL Thai. Our team uh, designed a virtual scene, which is full of childlike fantasy and placed many virtual toys. And there are many uh, virtual avatars of parents and the children in the TCL uh, uh, This is a video we. Uh, this is we the video we recognize in the uh, and uh, and our graduation fireworks display show has been especially displayed. 
uh, to give children a more interesting and rural graduation uh, thing, which them have a happy and unforget uh, unforgettable gra graduation. Okay, so through this metaverse technology that every kid can uh, join their ceremony at home, right? Yes. Okay, thank you very much, Dennis. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, guys, now we will go to the May Hall to check out more uh, AI technologies there. Just to remind you that where we are now here is Shanghai World Expo Center. And this is the May venue of 2022 World Artificial Intelligence Conference. And this year's way kicked off on Wednesday with more than 200 companies participating and some of them debut new tech innovation and product here during the conference. You can see that robots, smart transportation, chip design, and industrial applications are especially under the spotlight at this exhibition hall of 2022 week. And now we are heading to the booth of GE. Let's check out how AI technology will facilitate medical care industry. And now we are very happy to have Megan to join our live stream. Hello, Megan, very nice to see you. Nice meeting you. Okay, so could you please give us a brief introduction about yourself and uh, maybe you can show us around about the GE booth. Of course. Hi everyone, my name is Megan Wu. I'm the AI business development leader of GE Healthcare China. And this is GE's Healthcare's third year joining the World AI Conference. And today I'm happy to share with you our latest technologies on the stage. And at the key position, we can see the recent Edison Medical Smart Platform. Could you give us more information about this? Yes. Um, so GE Healthcare's mission is improving lives in moments that matter. And we're using the digital technologies to increase the healthcare efficiency, um, expand accessibility of the high quality healthcare services. And also, uh, we're aiming for the prevention oriented early diagnosis and treatment of common diseases, um, complex diseases, and also high mortality diseases. Uh, we are, all our products are based on the Edison Intelligent Platform um, showing us here. Um, and maybe we can check out some application about this platform. Um, so we cooperate with um, the local China AI partners and really based on the China hospital's condition, we together with our AI partner, we build the AI applications that's really based on the China's hospital's needs um, that solve the local hospitals and doctors' pain points. Um, for example, um, um, as you can see here, um, oh, sorry. Um, for example, as you can hear, as you can see here, this is the mammography um, images. Um, at the level three hospitals, sometimes it might take the radiologist 20 to 30 minutes to complete a diagnosis. But with the help of our AI system, you can automatically um, get a diagnosis result instantly after reading the images. And with that can really help the radiologists to fasten their work speed and even to help the hospital to relieve their waiting pressure. And uh, for some of the lower tier hospitals, they're really struggling from the um, lack of high experienced um, doctors and radiologists. So with the support of AI, we're really trying to build their capabilities of the diagnosis and bring the benefits to the local residents in the lower tier cities and in the lower tier hospitals. Okay, maybe we can go to check other applications? Of course. Yeah. Um, and following me, you will see here is our um, X20 products. So this intelligent solution X20 showing here as an example, it's created for perioperative clinical needs and that can turn the impossible complex surgeries to possible, improve patient's quality of life, and at the same time, coach the anosocialist in complex surgeries and a sociologist can detect four important indexes in perioperative examination on the same screen. Anesthesia depth, pain response, lung function, and blood flow velocity. 
The blood flow velocity is an assistant to judge whether there is potential bleeding. In the past, these key information were scattered in multiple devices. But with our X20 unified management platform, we are preventing the missing information from a surgery and improve patient prognosis. With all our digital technologies, we're striving to achieve our mission of improving lives in moments that matter. Okay, okay thank you very much, Megan, and thank you for the time to take our interview. Thank you. So uh, now we are going heading to Shangtang. This is a leading company, software, AI software company in China. And I heard and there is a Chinese chess player there in Shangtang. Maybe let's go and find him. And we are very happy today to invite the Maggie here. Hello, uh, welcome. Hello, Maggie. Very nice to see you. Nice to meet you. Uh, uh, you want to see our uh, first consumer product, Yuan Luobo? Yes, we would like to find the Chinese chess player here. So okay. could you hear us to find him? Yes, please follow me. I think you really like this robot. Sorry. We heard a lot of stories about this robot. Hello. Hello. You're so looking you're looking at our very high tech looking little astronaut looking robot here, Yuan Luobo. Yuan means original first. Luobo comes from robot. So it's now having this face to face, real time human like interaction with our player here. We really want to keep this interaction, uh, not just only looking at the screen to play Chinese chess, because this is really what the fun is about. So you're looking at this uh, very smart uh, industrial level robotic arm that's not only swift, smart, but quite safe. Okay, so uh, what, what, what kind of these steps can the Yuan Luob do in this uh, chessboard? So if like I, you can go this, so. Okay. Okay, and if I take out one piece of chest. Okay, he finds it. Yes, <laughs> okay. uh, still notice. <laughs> so uh, the machine has different levels of the uh, matches that you can choose from. Uh, no matter you are new to the game or you are already a Chinese chess master, you can always find a good match. And it's really, it's, we, we're really proud that it's certified by the Chinese uh, Xiangqi Association. So you can uh, complete some of the level examinations right here on the robot. Uh, it's the authority behind it proves that we are really, uh, this is really something professional we're looking at here. Okay, so how good Yuan Luo uh, at the uh, Chinese chess playing? And we know that he is still um, on the learning process of the Chinese chess. Uh, yes, yes, it's all about deep learning. So we've stored enough of the computing power on the cloud. So it will allow the machine to continue to self-training, to train itself, to understand the player's behavior better. So in the future, you'll get even smarter. Okay, that's great. And we heard that there is something, another interesting application in the sense time oh, yes. uh, boost that we know that here is a smart car cabin. Yeah. Well, we are really popular. <laughs> yeah, it's very popular. And this is the smart car cabin. And then you can see there is a visual person here. And I can actually scan my face. And yeah. Yeah, Face ID can uh, help you to open the door and make sure that's you. This is my uh, cute uh, driving assistant here. Yeah. She will give me some health information, basic health information, and will tell me how to improve that later in the cabin. If you okay. could just follow me. So maybe we can first check the, this virtual person, and I can scan my face by using the uh, face recognition technology, then the virtual person can check out my physical condition and upload the information inside, right? Yes. yes. So now let's get on the car yes. and... Thank you. Uh, so we're 
looking at like a future smart cabin here. We have several screens here that shows uh, some of our coolest already mature solutions. For example, on the front screen here, this is our preparatory aut autonomous driving system. It can not only provide us with this reliable, comfortable journey when the vehicle driving itself, but also it will help us, uh, it will tell us when the danger comes or it will uh, help us to do the automated valet parking. That's really everybody needs okay. it'll park itself. Okay. Uh, we can see that this is a very large space and there is actually no driving cabin. So what can we do in this cabin? Oh, yes. Uh, I think I just got a video call, but that's, okay. that was my boss. So this screen shows us the in-cabin entertainment. Oh, it's, 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 trigger, it's triggered by, by verbal. Oh, verbal. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, so uh, entertainment system, for example, Let's take a picture. Yes, if you ever hit the traffic jam, you really need that with yeah, the family. Already on the screen. And also, I could um, give us wow. cute. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Wow, it's cool. Oh, okay. Let's take a photo together. Yay! That 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 that's quite cool. And besides that, you can play games and uh, also, like I said, it's mobile officing. Uh, we can take video calls, no, no, not limited to using my tiny little mobile. Okay. Oh, that's okay. my boss. Oh, hi, Ella. Hello. So that's really convenient uh, for future. So this space, we want to be really smart and safe. And also, I want to, I want to highlight. We also have this children-friendly mode that once it detects the children in the car, it will give us this uh, like children's song they like and uh, they will really soothe the children when they take the vehicle and also you, know, you can really learn something and the most important thing is safety always comes first okay. so if uh, on some news we see that people left their children in the vehicle and it's really dangerous we can definitely avoid that you will uh, get a really serious uh, alert when you do that and also important leftover your valuable things in the car, you will also get notified. Okay. Yes. Okay. So, so this is really very children friendly here. Yeah. Mm. So really in this space, we want to create a uh, personal space that's not only comfortable, safe, smart, it's just like a, a, a home, you feel at ease. Uh, this is really what we're looking at. Okay. Mm. So, uh, what kind of application scenario has been uh, the, this sense auto being used? Oh, actually, uh, lots of the function already is already mature uh, solutions you can see on the road already. For example, we have our self-driving robot bus. Okay. It's already on the road already. So in parks or on the city road, you can uh, it will drive itself. It's self-driving, and also you will see some uh, AR function. Uh, uh, that's uh, based, uh, that, that's put on the real-time city road. So you can see like an animal world or special effect on that. So when you take on that bus, uh, you will see more, you will learn more than just uh, the regular scene. Okay, thank you, Mandy. Thank you for bringing us this no fascinating driving experience. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay, guys, this is really a very interesting uh, space for the future driving. And what we can see here is just one hall of this year's uh, World Artificial Intelligence Conference in Shanghai. And uh, despite this, uh, you can join this on offline uh, exhibition. You can also log in the online space to discover more AI technologies. And I think that's all for today's live program. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.